Most deaf represent most definitely. Jesus, what I used to rock at 83. Drank up all the Kool Aid at the block party. Used to wish I could break with rocks that D. Peace and love are most deaf. First of all, I want to say thank you to you all for being here to participate in this exciting new mission, ISIS, Instituting Science in Schools, sponsored by NASA. Greetings, fellow explorers. Science and art are two places where imagination, knowledge, and discovery are all vital. When I was a young boy, I always was curious to discover more about the world around me and beyond me. And throughout my life, I've had a great interest to explore and discover to travel and to learn. There's someone else I'd like to introduce to you whose talents and skills have also allowed him to travel the spaceways and to see the place that is space face to face. Transmitting live from the dimension of now, please welcome astronaut Leland Melvin. Hey most, thank you for the introduction. No bro. doubt, peace, good to see peace, you. Peace, bro. It's great to share with most deaf here. This stage, as you all well know, it's amazing when I think about the parallels that exist between music and science, especially when it comes to sound waves, which we saw earlier as your music played. Mos, can you share some of the science behind the music? One of the things that we know about sound is that it travels by waves. Now let's take a look at the structure of a sound wave to see how its shape affects what we hear. This is a wave. The wavelength is the length of a wave measured from the crest of the wave to the trough to the next crest. In music, long wavelengths create low pitch sounds and short wavelengths make high pitch sounds. Now, you also have frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that happen in a certain amount of time. And the shorter wavelength is the higher frequency. It's usually measured in per second in units or hertz. Also, I can tell from firsthand experience that waves are important for communications on any space mission. NASA uses a system of eight tracking and data satellites with a network of ground stations to relay in-flight communications with spacecraft traveling close to the Earth. And maybe some of you out there wondering, well, how does any of this relate to me and my life? Exactly. Well, First of all, there's science all around us. Without advance in science and technology, you wouldn't be able to enjoy radio, the television, the internet, YouTube, or some of the... Or mixing and scratching your music, yeah. right? you know, some of the common things that some of us take for granted every day. The jobs that you will have in the next 20 years haven't even been imagined yet. You will be using technology that haven't even been invented yet. We need you to become the inventors you all have the qualities needed for innovation, curiosity, creativity, vision, courage, and enthusiasm. What you need is the math and science skills to back up these qualities you already have. Speaking of innovators, can any of you name a person who's created a good and great creative solution to a technical challenge? Anybody? Anybody? Come on, somebody. I know someone has an answer to that. But great, now, I can think of one, too. Has anyone seen any of the amazing images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope? It is one of our great observatories, and it allows us to uncover the lives of stars and explore galaxies in the furthest regions of space. After NASA launched the telescope, we faced a huge technical challenge. Our telescope's vision was flawed, and the images we received were blurry. So, you know, that was not an easy problem to solve when the telescope is about 380 miles above the Earth. But with every problem, there is an opportunity. And some very creative folks got to work. We developed corrective lenses, corrective glasses for the Hubble telescope. It took five long, complex spacewalks by four astronauts over 10 days to give the Hubble Space Telescope the vision it was designed to have. Now that was a creative solution to a monumental technical challenge up 380 miles up in space. Uh, wow, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. I think we can all name a person in our lives or someone that we know or someone that's well known who's had the courage to do or try something that inspired others or 
blazed the trail or, or led the way for other people. Why don't you share with us, Leland, how your experiences shaped you and helped you to achieve your goals and your dreams? Well, thanks for the recognition and kind words, my friend. But without the support of my parents, teachers, family, and community, none of my accomplishments would have ever been possible. But without fantastic achievements by our engineers, mathematicians, and scientists, behind the scenes, I never would have gotten to space. Leland, man, it's really a pleasure to be here with you, man. You are an inspiration. It's the, it's the honor to be here with you and, you know, learn from you and, you know, share your experience. Most people see the accomplishments, they see the end result, but they may not see so much of the intense work and preparation that it takes to get from point A to point right. Z. Yes, one of the most important parallels we want you to come away with is the ability to use creativity and innovation to solve problems. And whether you want to travel towards the stars like myself or become a star like most deaf, it is important to strive towards achieving your dreams and to put the work necessary into those dreams to make them a reality. That's right. And whether we are stars in science or on stage or screen, to quote Sly and Family Stone, everybody's a star. Exactly. And uh, we can all light up the world and make it a little bit brighter, a little more radiant, a little better than it was than when we got here. Exactly. Yeah. Peace, my brother. God bless, man. <laughs> Believe it, achieve it, know it, own it, imagine it, plan it, explore it, form it, design it, find it, make it, arrange it, create it, change it, try it, renew it, improve it, do it, draw it, define it, pursue it, become it, live it, love it. Peace.